So in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, making our print uh, statement work with numbers because at the moment we can only print strings and uh, I'm not sure if there's an example here, but in um, the real basic you can print uh, numbers and strings. So we're going to be able to do that uh, after this video. So uh, inside of our um, basic.py, we need to change one thing first because if we go here and I type in print Francis and the print is lowercase and then uh, I hit uh, or I run that you can see here that uh, it didn't get run and if I change this to uppercase you'll see that it does get run so what we want to do is we just want to uh, let this work with lowercase as well so the way we're going to do that is we're just going to uh, go in here and we're just going to say or toke equals lowercase print and we're going to hit enter and as you'll see now it runs so the way we're going to work with numbers is uh, we're going to treat every number as an expression until we uh, work we're going to say that every number is an expression until we define we actually work out that it's a number so what I mean by that is if I come into our file and say I just do a simple uh, math expression so I say 10 plus 2 so this is an expression uh, and if I just put in I don't know, the number 8 that's a number but a number could we could uh, what we're going to do is we're going to assume if we see a number we're going to assume it's an expression and then we're going to um, check whether we see a plus or a minus or a divide or a multiply sign um, after the number and if we do then we know it's an expression if we don't we know it's uh, a number so that's what we're going to do it so it's going to be kind of similar to strings where you do states so that whenever you see the first uh, double quote then you know to set the state to one and when you see the second one you set the state to zero and then you know you've left the string so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go down uh, just after the print and I'm going to say elif toke equals uh, and I'm just going to say zero for now then uh, I'll actually do the other numbers too so I'll say toke equals zero or toke equals one we could use a regular expression but I'm lazy so I'm just going to use um, a simple if statement or toke equals three or toke equals four and I'll just copy and paste it to make it quicker so five six seven eight nine and then that's it because there's only we're not going to uh, do anything with um, hexadecimal numbers at the moment so we're just going to come down here and we're going to press the colon button so that we're inside our if statement and I'm just going to say print number. So now if I just go over to that second print, and I'll just put in oops, any number, so I'll say this. We should get number printed out uh, however many times that is. Okay, so we get number printed out once. Uh, that's because we need to set toke equal to nothing. We have to reset the token variable. And as you can see now, we get number printed out however many times we see a number. So if I just put in uh, 93, so we get two numbers, uh, and we rerun re, re that, we're going to see we get number printed out twice. So what we want to do is we want to create a variable called expr started, so expression started, and we're going to set that equal to, uh, actually we're going to say uh, expression plus equals toke, and we're going to have a variable called expr, which is going to hold our expression, so expr equals, uh, we're going to set that to nothing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, also go up here and we're going to create a variable called n, which is going to stand for number. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. Um, before we return tokens, we're just going to print expr. So if we hit enter, you can see it prints out 93. So if I just put in any number and load that, it says 90 or it says whatever number I put in. If I put a plus and all this other uh, stuff in as you can see okay it doesn't put that in that's because um, we haven't actually uh, told it to do anything whether there's a plus or not so what I'm going to do now is I'll just say lf toke equals plus so we'll just do plus for now we'll say expr plus equals plus or plus equals toke actually and then we'll just say toke equals nothing so as you can see now whatever expression I put in is um, uh, saved as an expression so if I say 10 plus 2 and we also ignore spaces in expressions because that's just a waste of uh, space in the memory so as you can see it says 10 plus 2 that's our expression 
but we have no way at the moment of distinguishing between an expression and a number. So what we're going to do up here is we're going to say when we see a new line, we're going to say if oops, expression doesn't equal nothing. So if the expression is not empty, then we're going to say uh, print expression. And then we're going to say uh, expr equals nothing. So we're going to reset the expression too. And then we're just going to run that now. So if I uh, just get rid of this print expression down here and I re redo this, okay, we don't get anything echoed out to us. So the reason we didn't get anything echoed out to us if I run this is you can see we're waiting for a new line in the code. As you can see, it says here if token equals new line. So if we just put a new line in there and we hit enter, you can see we get our expression returned to us. But obviously we don't want to just wait for a new line. So what we're going to do is, um, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to say if a token equals new line uh, or token equals, and we're just going to say uh, end file. And this is a, a special token that I'm just going to create now. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to come in here and we're just going to say, and we're just going to um, append end file onto the end of it. So it said data plus equals end of file. So now what we'll do is we'll uh, refresh or we'll reload this. And as you can see, it says 10 plus 2. And we didn't have to put a new line at the end. If I just put in a new line now, we'll still get 10 plus 2. So we have our expression. And now what we want to do is we want to find out if it's a number or not. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to say is expr equals 1. It's a boolean we're going to create that's um, going to be 1 or 0. Uh, is expr it's going to be zero to begin with so if we see this uh, plus or um, you know a neg or a minus or something like that we're going to know that it's an expression and then if we don't see one then e is a is expr will be zero so we'll know that it's a number so what we're going to do in here is we're going to say if expr doesn't equal zero or doesn't equal nothing and is expr equals uh, one then we're going to print out expression then we're going to say else We'll say actually L if expr doesn't equal nothing. So if there is actually a number there and expr or is expr equals zero, then we'll know it's a number. So we'll print uh, expression plus num. I'll just do this uh, for now. This is just for debugging. And we'll say expr. And we also have to reset it both times because even though we call it an expression internally, we're going to know that this is um, a number and this is an expression. So if I just come up here and reload this, you can see it says 10 plus 2 expr. If I just uh, get rid of that and say 10, as you can see it says 10 num. So now we can, we can tell whether it's an expression or a number. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to say, uh, we're going to append the uh, expression onto the uh, tokens list. So we're going to say tokens.append. Uh, and in, with the print one, we just uh, appended the word print, but with the string, we appended string and then the value. So we're going to use that same format for expressions. So we're going to say uh, expr uh, colon, and then we're just going to put the value, which is e the, va the variable expr in after it. And we're just going to do the same here, except we're going to say num. We're not going to be worried about integers and um, floating point numbers and things. We're just going to call everything a number. Uh, whether it's a float or an int or whatever. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to uh, come down here and print tokens. Okay, uh, list out of green. That's just because uh, down here in our parser, if our parser doesn't know what an expression is. Uh, it only knows how to print strings, it doesn't know how to print anything else. So that's why we're getting this uh, list out of range. But if you ignore that for now, you can re see up here we have uh, our tokens. We it says print string expression. So if I just uh, come in here and I say a print expression or a print before that, you can see uh, if we just close that, uh, it says print string hello world and it says print expression. And if I change this to say 10, it'll say print num 10. So uh, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to follow us on Google Plus. Uh, also, if there's anything in particular you want to add to the language, just let me know, and we'll do that in a video sometime soon. So, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.